aircraft type Airbus 320-200, engine CFM 56, uh, navigation database is valid, tail strike awareness 11.7 degrees, pitch color at 10 degrees, technical status of the airplane no MELs, no CDLs or OEBs, no significant no TAMs, weather we've copied for runway 07, winds are 08015 knots, 2000 meters in moderate rain, scattered 2500, Charlie Bravo's at 3000, Temperature is uh, 21, dew point 21, QNH is 1013, auto engine start, we are expecting pushback facing west, taxi routing is going to be hotel, kilo for holy pond runway 07. I will be using weather radar on both sides, monsoon conditions, and it's going to be pack soft takeoff. Okay, block fuel is 13.8, estimated takeoff weight is 75 decimal 8, extra fuel in time we have 1.1 ton and uh, 31 minutes of hold. Takeoff runway 07, config 01, toga takeoff, V1, VRV2, 145, 148, 152, transition altitude is 4000 feet, thrust reduction and acceleration is 1000 and 1543, engine out acceleration is also 1543. Flight plan, RNAV SID, Oxina departure for runway 27, loss comp procedure, follow SID with restrictions and climb to flight plan cruising level. This SID requires a minimum climb gradient of 415 per nautical mile, that is 6.8. We are capable. And routing goes as follows. Runway is 07, 1000 above. Thereafter, Mike, Mike 609. Which is flight level 60 or below. Cross check. Thereafter, Oxina. Transition is Girna. So from Oxina, we go to Gitor. Thereafter, to Girna. MSA for our sector is going to be 1800 feet uh, within 10 DME initially, thereafter 2300 feet. And we have Mike Mike Victor manually entered on both sides and identified. Abnormal operations uh, this will be a left seat takeoff. Any malfunction occurs below V1, I'll call stop or go. If the call is stop, I'll, I'll put a maximum reverses and bring the aircraft to a stop, bearing in mind the wind direction. If there is fire and when possible, you'll monitor deceleration and inform ATC. When aircraft comes to a stop, parking brake to be set. Carry out the ECAM action on my command. If no ECAM action is shown, use it. The departure and arrival briefings are the most essential part in airline flying. It helps pilots assess any risk or imminent threat and be more prepared for the worst case scenario. It's really helpful in terms of overall flight safety. It was always done by the pilot flying and over the years this briefing became mechanical and monotonous. Airbus wanted both pilots to actively participate in the briefing. The briefings had to be in a way that it complemented the SOP not be a repetition of it. It demanded pilots to think out of the box, recognize any threat and come up with a mitigation. Let's see an example of departure briefing and uh, point would be noted. The pilot monitoring starts the briefing in this case because as per the task sharing, Pilot monitoring has already cross-checked the FMGS and hence uh, there are a lot of things that don't need to be repeated. So here it goes. Alright, so you're the pilot monitoring. Go ahead with the briefing please. Right, take off runway 07, full runway, it's dry runway as of now. Expecting our nav departure, Oxina for runway 07. First cleared, altitude is 6,000 feet, MSA is 1,800 within 10 nautical miles, thereafter 2,300 feet. Extra fuel in time, we have 1.1 tons in 31 minutes. Right, that's what I have on my side as well. We're expecting pushback facing west and thereafter taxi out via hotel Kilo to holding point uh, runway 07. Uh, there are no hot spots in our taxi route, uh, but we'll still exercise caution around the terminal area. Stop margin, I'm getting on my EFP as 250 meters. There are no engine out SID for runway 07, so it's going to be all standard operating procedures once we're airborne. In case of any immediate return, weather-wise we're above minima, but we are very much above our max landing weight, so we'll have to go through the overweight landing checklist. There's no special operations, no non-standard operations. And uh, do you identify any threats from your side? Uh, yes, I'm a little tired for this being the last sector for the day and uh, as well as it is monsoon condition, so that's one. Uh, yeah, I agree. It's been a long day for both of us, so let's try to be extra vigilant and uh, let's also go through the memory actions in case we encounter wind shear. And uh, I don't see any other threat for now. Any questions or anything you want to add? 
Nope, that'll be all. Right then, uh, let's go through the cockpit preparation checklist, please. Cockpit preparation checklist coming up. Gear, pins and covers, remove. Fuel it is checked. Thank you. So basically, this is how Airbus has implemented their new uh, briefing techniques that eliminates a lot of unnecessary thing and it makes sure that both pilots together are involved in the briefing and there's a beautiful mental picture projected for your plan. That's it for this one and I'll catch you all in the next video. Ciao.